Hello, what's up and welcome to this channel. In today's video guys, I'm going to show you how to map your PS4 controller um, for some use so that you can actually play correctly uh, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So the two things you're going to need guys is a, con is a PS4 controller cable. We're not going to do it wirelessly, but if you want to go ahead. But this tutorial is strictly for um, cable. So see you on my desktop and today we're going to show you how to map it and of course I'm going to do it like uh, for every for every button which one you're going to press on the same you so with any the video guys let's do this all right guys if we are at my desktop right now the first thing we're going to need to do is to connect our ps4 controller to our pc just like that the second thing you do need to do guys is to go to your same emulator and go to option go to input settings and it's probably going to be clear just like that name it whatever you want i'm going to name it emo emo gaming just like that uh gonna be probably nothing here so you go for for emulation controller you go for uh, wii u gamepad and for control here just go for wireless controller direct input yeah just like that I think you can really uh, yeah so now here's the tricky part guys so let's let me let me do that or like I think this like this so for a guys on the PlayStation 4 controller you go for the circle for the B you go for the X for the X you go for the triangle and for the Y, guys, you go for the uh, for, so the the fork. This, this guy, this four triangle thingy. Okay. So now for left, guys, it's literally L1 on the PlayStation One controller. And for the R, you go for R1. And ZL, guys, you go for L2 on the PlayStation controller. And ZR, you go for R2. On the PlayStation 4 controller. For the plus guys, press the option button on the PlayStation 4 controller. And for the minus, you go for share for the share button. Now left axis, guys, you go for this button. You go for the R3. It's like you're pressing it in. Then you stay here on the same one on the left trigger, this here, and do do up down left right and then now for the right axis guys it's the right one here and you press it in for the r3 and then you go the same thing up down left right and then for the d-pad guys you do it's easy you do take those those buttons here and you do up down left right and blow mic, you can press whatever button you want, but for some reason, um, it this really doesn't work. Like if I would, I would always map it with the F button, but it doesn't work. But I don't think it really matters. It really doesn't work. And uh, yeah, you save it. Profile saved, as you might see. And yes, wireless controller, direct input, guys. Don't go for the other ones and blah, blah, blah and whatnot. Go directly for this one and you're good to go. Um, let's see if there's something I missed. I really don't think so. Yeah, it's literally going to look like that for you when you first set up, but I showed you how to do it. So you go for Wii U gamepad, wireless controller different input, and you map it as I showed you. Then just if you save it, if you have saved it, guys, it's always going to be here. You see, this is mine. And uh, this is the one that we did, Emo Gaming. And if you save it, just like I did, go out. Now we're going for bread. Oh, hold up, guys. Hold up. Probably going to be stupid. Uh, general settings. The audio going to probably be crazy. I'm going to drop it down to 15. Yeah, probably going to be super, super loud. All right. I hope it's not too loud here. And you see? like on the uh, pro controller here so if you press the the circle it's it's like the a button and then like the shrine you press again 
You good. Put it right here. So to show you that it's actually work, it's a really easy tutorial, but for some people it's a little bit harder. And you can see the stats, I run Vulcan. If you want me to do any like performance or uh, full setup guide, let me know. As you might see. Let's get actually out of the shrine. Yeah, it's literally like how it would be on the Switch or maybe on the Wii. Let's run out. Let's make it actually a full screen here. There we go. Probably not recording, so I, I do actually not going to do full screen here. But not like that. Yeah, as you might see guys, it works. See, from the back. Then if you want to switch, you can do that. It's just like in the normal one, you press this button here and uh, you can switch between weapons, just like that. Run, if you press in, this one here. So it's literally like the original, um, original game. Jump and everything, but, but that is just a PS4 controller. Okay guys. But that was it guys, I think that was pretty much it, I hope if you like it, like it, if you dislike it, dislike it, and uh, a sub is also appreciate guys, my goal this year was to get to 1000 subscribers, unfortunately not gonna happen, but hey Christmas coming and wonders happens. This is gonna be my last video for this year guys, so I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and uh, if you don't uh, celebrate Christmas, well happy Every you celebrate guys and that's all said guys i'm gonna get the heck out of here have yourself a good day and brass keep it cool and stay awesome my name is emo from emo gaming hey and i'm freaking out for you peace